I think it's very important to inform people about science and advocating for science and that, especially for me, basic science, right? That how basic science leads to particular discoveries for drug therapy to help combat diseases. So to me, that's why science advocacy is very important. And it allows us to have a voice. And I think that's just important for any and all people to have a voice. And right now, as a scientist, that's the most important voice I want to have at this moment. About a quarter of our members are funded by key science agencies like the NIH and the National Science Foundation and the Department of Energy. And that's really where a ton of money that Congress appropriates every year goes to. Individual researchers like our members who are doing amazing important things in the labs and um, also supporting the next generation of scientists. So it's really important that congressional staffers understand where the money that they're allocating every year goes to and why it's important for the broader bioeconomy, for the workforce, the STEM workforce, um, and innovative health technologies and efforts. I'm so grateful that I actually did become a part of this committee and that's because we take action by really helping the National Science Foundation, the National Institute of Health, um, the Department of Energy, of all these federal organizations to truly understand the importance of funding science and not just funding it, but continuing to increase the budget for science. We work with them very closely. They come to Capitol Hill, which is where we are now, every year to advocate for sustained budget increases for those science agencies that I mentioned earlier. And then they help us figure out which bills to endorse that would be really helpful for the work that they do and what policy recommendations we should be making to federal agencies to improve their grant um, making decisions and oversight processes and things like that. For me, an impact that I hope to have is for um, the community, the public community, to truly understand and respect basic science. Yes, we're going to have translational science. Yes, we're going to have science and, and people always thinking about what is there a cure? You know, do we want to cure? But to really think about the importance of basic science. Another thing that's very important to me is the next generation. Because I'm at an undergraduate research institution, the College of William and Mary. So the students who I produce and my colleagues produce, they are mostly undergraduates. We don't have a PhD program. We may have master's students who are also great, but our research is really dependent on the next generation and they are the undergraduates and so that's important when you see them not only become, you know, just have this independent inquiry, but to really think about things, be able to involve them in the science and also involve them in science advocacy. For example, when I do have to come to meetings here at Capitol Hill or conferences for the ASBMB PAC, you know, my class knows because they're going to also receive assignments and which is great of the world we're living in of this hybrid, right? But they are very important and often students say to me, we didn't even know that was a career. We are very much interested in that. So that's one of the other things that really is very um, important. I hope walking away from this event specifically, congressional staffers have a greater understanding and appreciation for the really uh, meticulous hard work that our members do. And hopefully they can place kind of why fundamental research, why basic scientific research is important for their larger innovation pipeline. Without basic scientific research, you're not going to get new drugs you're not going to get new therapies, and it's really important that myself and committee members and ASBNB that we communicate that out. Well, it actually is a great example of how what scientists do ties into the community, and so why should we care? And it goes right back for us of making sure that the funding is always there. Really any event or effort that raises the visibility of fundamental researchers and scientists with congressional staffers helps us make that case as to why funding research is so important. So events like this um, give congressional staffers really concrete examples of what research results in. Um, and hopefully that, <laughs> that'll help our broader advocacy efforts.